is very personal um, it's based on a lot of personal experiences and I think that's what art should be um, art should be about taking from nature taking from what is around you internalizing it um, allowing it to steer something inside of you to awaken the voices inside of you that are otherwise sleeping or you know somewhere in limbo and um, to put it out in a way that best expresses who you are and what the essence of you. I mean, after all, when you think about all of the other, let's say, occupations in the world, you know, you have businessmen, you have lawyers, you have doctors, and all this and all that, they always have to abide by certain rules. There are standards that they have to meet, there are um, boundaries, but art should be the one thing where there are absolutely no boundaries, um, where you can be completely free to be who you are, to say what you want to say, and to hopefully somehow steer something inside of others. The gray area. The gray area to me is um, in order to get to the gray area, we have to divide between black and white. Let's say white is, white refers to the things, the intangible things in life, the things we cannot touch, the things we can perceive through our senses but we don't actually have words for. Um, and we can say black would be the physical things, the things we can touch, the things we can hold, smell, taste, and the gray area is when you combine the two. It's the meeting of the, these two great aspects of our lives. And the gray area for me is a place where I live. Um, I love the gray area. I thrive on the gray area. When I'm in the gray area, that's when I connect with my art because I'm able to fuse things based on what I perceive in the world as well as the things that I feel, my dreams, my innermost thoughts that I can't actually put into words. And I have definitely found the gray area and the gray area is where all of my art comes from. A distinct pattern. Um, well, I work both as a poet and a mixed media artist. And what I love to do is fuse both poetry and um, visual art. Um, for me, there shouldn't actually be a divide um, between, let's say, literature, music, visual art, all art has one and the same goal, which is to seek what lies within, to awaken the demons that sleep within, or the angels, or the ghosts, or whatever you want to call them. Um, and so for me, as long as art can awaken something inside of the viewers, I'm very delicate and fragile um, because I'm both delicate and fragile my art um, it, it, it threads a thin line between what is dangerous and what is true and a lot of the time people don't want to believe that what is true is what is dangerous and so they'd rather hide behind 
masks or they'd rather believe what they are told to believe by the media, by you know, TV, the internet. As an artist, I'm somebody who feels things probably terribly too much. Um, I feel things to a degree that I don't think is actually normal. Um, but that's also what fuels the fire within me. That is what makes me want to seek the realities of the human condition, as painful or as dark, as, as frightening as they might be. Um, I seek to find what those are and to show them in my work. Yes, I'm absolutely afraid of the dark, which is why I embrace it. Um, it's my personal philosophy that we need to embrace the things that we are most afraid of. Um, and by so doing, by embracing, let's say, me embracing the dark, I'm able to free myself of anything that might have been holding me back.